For the past six months here at the Golf Projects, I've been using this exact drill to transform golfers' backswings. This drill simplifies things in just one simple step that we're going to dive into in this video. So the two most common faults I noticed with the golfers that came to transform their backswings was the over-the-top move and the dreaded slice. These two things had very, very common faults, and it was all to do with the takeaway itself. So when golfers get over-the-top on the downswing, what you've got to remember is the golfer will work in reaction so whatever you do in the backswing you'll always want to do the opposite in the downswing without really having to think about it and the problem with this is if we're trying to go too far on the inside like this to try and stop a slice that we have in our golf game because that's what we've been told we need to swing more on the inside to outside if that club face angle is already open anyway it's going to make it go further to the right so what do we do they'll either swing on the inside and swing back from the inside to outside leaving that face massively open and I'm going to explain this reason just a sec or they come on the inside and go over the top and slice across it anyway so when we're trying to swing more on the inside in this position here the only way we can do this and the way I can just physically do this as a human is over rotate my wrist into this position here my lead arm gets very sort of disconnected from the body but also it opens up the face massively here you can see that leading edge is vertical to the ground which indicates an open club face we want to see this club face angle working more neutral and parallel to our spine angle to help you get Get into the position more naturally rather than trying to force it into position is using an alignment stick place it on the lead side of the grip like so with the majority of the alignment stick hanging away from you place this part of the alignment stick touching the left side of your body like so in this position here if we do this over rotation in the wrist and swing too far on the inside you can see that alignment stick goes away from the body so this is what we call that sort of disconnected motion in the takeaway so we want to encourage a relatively connected takeaway position and how we do this is we keep this alignment stick touching that lead side of the body all the way up until we reach just before parallel to the ground with the shaft so I've had a lot of golfers do this and they've said well to me it feels like I'm just dragging the club along an imaginary line in this position here some golfers have said I really need to feel my hands going close to the body and the club head working really far out in this position here I've had other golfers hands for staying close to the body and the club heads working further away from the body so we don't want to see the club go straight on the inside like this and encourage the hands to nearly touch your legs feel it more using the upper body just to take the club away like this here once you've done at least 20 or so rehearsals using this alignment stick by all means take the alignment stick away and what it's important for you to do is develop an understanding of what that feels like to you whether it's hands staying close to the body club head working more out the lead shoulder which was another one really encouraging that lead shoulder to start off the golf swing as opposed to those wrists whatever it is think about it for every single rehearsal you do without the alignment stick and when doing this i would highly advise looking at the golf ball a lot of people look at the club and look at where the club's going if we're going to throw a dart we're going to look at the target aren't we what we're trying to hit we're not focused on where our elbow is or where our arm is positioned we just throw it don't we well it's the same in golf we want to develop feeling rather than trying to force yourself and look at the position that you're going to set yourself in because we're always going to be looking at the golf ball when it comes to making the golf swing and once we've done this around 10 to 15 more times we can start the next point the bonus tip i want to add in when they come too far on the inside and get very disconnected the golf swing works in reaction so then they get too connected if you look from this angle here and i swing up to the top the width of arc between my hands and my chest is very narrow which isn't good that's going to cause that cast and that over the top move that you may have in your golf game so once you set the club in this position here you're going to encourage and feel like you're pushing your hands as far away from you as possible without shifting your body away use the alignment stick again for this and have it in the middle of a stance just so it's in line with your sternum so the center of your chest and when you start to feel this second motion you're trying to keep your sternum over the alignment stick here that's going to help you stay more stable as you start to rotate into the top of the backswing without losing what we've just achieved here this increased width of arc which is going to make it so much easier to transition back down on a more natural easier plane to hit the golf ball comment down below which tip you're going to be prioritizing at the driving range when you try this is it going to be the takeaway drill or the bonus tip that i gave you just then pushing the hands further away comment down below and we'll see you in the next video